What's going on there, folks? Good morning, good afternoon to some out there. It's the Earthmaster here on this November 8th, 2022 date. It is Tuesday, about 10, 11 a.m. California time. And the uh, latest quake shows a 2.8 earthquake out in the area right around that looks like out in Texas area. A little bit of movement kicking up there earlier this morning. And also it looks like just recently we have been seeing a little bit of activity also along the west coast here of california with a 2.6 coming in within the last hour let's go ahead and check out the latest activity here across the map where we're seeing things kind of ramp up a little bit uh including uh, as noted here at the southern end of the cascadia mega thrust area uh, 2.6 at 7.4 kilometers deep now last night we did see some activity uh, kick up into the trimmer department uh, down here in northern california that adding further strain up along the locked area uh, sometimes we do see these quakes um, kick up and sometimes we see little swarms upstream as well but uh, an area to watch definitely could be northern california today considering all that uh, trimmer activity which was about 165 epicenters of trimmer there into the northern california region uh, let's see what else we got a little bit of activity once again around the coastal range here of the northern california area outside of covalo I did see a uh, 2.9 early this morning as well near lake pillsbury into the coastal range here a couple different fault systems that run through here a lot more than uh, what they're showing up here on the map clear lake volcanic field a lot of a lot of stuff going on there today pretty active with the calpine hydrothermal plants in function out there over here in nevada getting a pretty good swarm of activity uh, this one was coming in over overnight and also yesterday as well uh, about 17 earthquakes and i don't think we've had anything big looks like a 3.3 so far in, in, in this little cluster of earthquakes there so watching that region uh, that is up against a fault zone here couple different faults out there in Nevada movement around the uh, northern Sierra Nevada a little spotty today looks like um, a couple earthquakes we got 2.9 near Loyalton about eight o'clock this morning time frame nothing going on across the Mount Lassen or Mount Shasta area for now Bay Area has gone awfully quiet and um, Long Valley Super Volcano Mammoth Lakes area looks pretty quiet as well down here around the Ridgecrest area. I got one earthquake here coming in within the last hour, 1.2. And the Southern California area, pretty quiet. Uh, but we could see that a uh, little bit of activity kind of migrate down throughout the state today. Uh, definitely though, a noticeable in, uh, uptick, I should say across portions here of the Great Basin, Northern uh, Sierra Nevada area, and also up here off the coast of Northern California at the Cascadia. So we'll watch that pretty closely. Uh, there's that earthquake out in the Texas area, 2.8 outside of Pecos, Texas, 3.4 earlier this morning as well. So a little cluster of movement kicking off out there in the desert of Texas up into the Idaho area. Uh, looks like around the, the uh, Driggs area, never heard of that region, but uh, the Idaho um, region here, 2.0 at 3.2 kilometers deep. Yellowstone National Park, a little bit of swarming up here outside of West Yellowstone. Uh, let's go ahead and check that out real quick, see what we got for the raw data. And yeah, looks like maybe some activity here. I believe that's the 2.0 showing up here. It looks like around the 3.20 UTC time. Let's see here if that's going to be it. Uh, let's see. Stand by for a second. Yeah, well, I was off five minutes. 3.15. Uh, that's that 2.0 showing up uh, across the southwestern portion here of the park in Idaho. Um, but far as Yellowstone goes here, uh, specifically in Wyoming, not a whole lot going on. As far as earthquake activity goes, a couple small spikes uh, throughout the morning time frame <clears throat> notice these uh, little spikes here on the map but uh, that's about it either way still kind of watching that region we have been swarming pretty nicely 
um, over the past couple months in that zone. Oklahoma, most of this activity here from yesterday, not a whole lot of new movement uh, into the Tennessee area. We did see a 1.8. This is the uh, new Madrid zone here within this area. That kicked off about uh, 1 o'clock in the morning. Eastern portion of the country pretty quiet. Uh, down here in Cuba, things uptick a little bit overnight. In fact, 3.33 in the morning, about the time my computer went down. I find that rather odd. Well, my computer didn't go down, but the stream went down at about 3.33. Those numbers keep popping up, and well, I played them on the lottery, but I never win. Either way, a 5.0, 10 kilometers deep here, defaulted uh, depth there for that earthquake outside of the uh, Great Bahama Bank. Uh, north of the plate boundary here between the uh, Caribbean plate and the North American plate here, we have been seeing a pretty good swarm of activity across the Puerto Rico Trench. Kind of been watching that as well. Uh, this area definitely capable of producing a, lo a large earthquake. Um, the Puerto Rico Trench, that is. This whole area is pretty much being squeezed. Uh, South America, not a whole lot going on as uh, far as a large-scale activity goes. And the most recent one, about 4 o'clock this morning, a 4.0, uh, about 10 kilometers deep here. Seen some uh, deeper movement outside of the Santiago, Chile area yesterday, 179 kilometers deep up north of this area. Uh, but the one there in Chile, 90 kilometers deep for that 5.0. South Sandwich Trench earthquake activity. That was yesterday. Nothing new overnight. Just that 4.6 there from... Uh, the previous day, up into the Alaska region, Cook Inlet showing one earthquake up here, a 2.9 coming in at uh, about 71 kilometers deep. A lot of activity up around the Anchorage area today. Uh, a little bit of, well, I wouldn't call that a swarming, just a little bit of uptick down there about 30 to 60 kilometers deep for some of this earthquake activity. I don't believe anyone's feeling any of those quakes out there. Uh, but definitely a seismically hazard zone uh, up against the Castle Mountain Fault. And, of course, the major subduction zone that sits down here um, in the Gulf of Alaska in the Aleutian Trench area. Western Pacific, awfully quiet again. Uh, kind of makes me think that we're switching back here to watching the West Coast, the Alaska area. And uh, even though South America really hasn't shown too much, I think that's partially included here with the Caribbean area. Uh, for some activity today into the Tonga Trench and the Kermadec Trench. Yesterday's activity, some deeper movement. Uh, we haven't really noted uh, too much earthquake activity upstream. Uh, this deeper earthquake activity does trigger uh, further stress upstream. And um, I'm not seeing it yet, but we did see a little bit of adjustment uh, yesterday outside of the Port Villa area, some shallow earthquake movement in this area followed up here to the east uh, with some deeper activity in the uh, philippines region outside of manila had a 5.4 169 kilometers deep getting in on some uh, super deep activity here recently around the philippines uh, that one coming in uh, looks like about 6 30 this morning and some other prior earthquake activity within the region but um, seismically speaking this is kind of quiet over the last 24 hours, the Java Sea, a 4.1. Uh, that one was a late afternoon time frame yesterday. 527 kilometers deep. That was a super deep earthquake. Not a whole lot of adjustment, though, further upstream, at least according to the USGS. Um, in this area, though, looks like we did see this rings a little bit on the lighter color side. So it was, it was following this deeper 4.1. Uh, looks like we did see a little bit of shallow adjustment upstream along the Java Trench following that deeper activity. Um, but um, not a big one. Definitely has some deeper movement going on down below that area. And uh, Philippines, of course, noted on the USGS map there as well. Um, around the Himalayas, uh, outside of Nepal, it looks like a 4.8. That's about the newest earthquake so far. This morning, uh, 4.8 at 10 kilometers deep, and not a whole lot of activity as we head westward. One earthquake outside of Italy. We're in Italy, I should say. Off the coast, there we go. 4.5 coming in earlier this morning as well. And uh, the Atlantic Ocean, aside from the South Sandwich Islands down south, this earthquake here, 4.8 from yesterday. 
So a couple areas to watch today. The West Coast uh, definitely showing some inland movement here along the North American plate uh, and also right around the Caribbean plate here getting a little bit of mixing around of the uh, movement. So keep, a, keep an eye on that area. Uh, let's see what we got. Trimmer activity hasn't really been uh, updated. It will be later today. We'll check that out um, in a uh, update later. GeoNet servers. I do want to check this out here. Uh, latest earthquake looks like yesterday. Uh, even though it shows November 8th here. 908 p.m. Uh, looks like we've seen a 4.1. That one about 75 kilometers deep. And um, not a whole lot of movement, not a whole lot of uptick here on the GeoNet servers. And most of this activity listed up here on the, on the globe is some older movement. Uh, remember the uh, GeoNet servers, EMSC and the USGS are all on this globe here uh, for a combined agency report when it comes to putting out the data to the earthquake catalog system here. Looks like... Um, There's the South America region, seen some smaller twos around the Chile area, but um, yeah, not a whole lot over here. Um, following that 4.5, that was, uh, let's see when that was, I believe that was yesterday, right? Yeah, in the Italy area, actually that was just this morning, I was wondering why those, uh, some of these must be some older quakes, but it looks like they have been having a little bit of aftershock activity within that region, including a 3.9 uh, there off the coast of Italy. But uh, not a whole lot of seismic um, activity across the Mediterranean. A lot of times we'll see the swarm of movement. That's a little spotty today. Let's see what we got for space weather activity. Um, we are looking at uh, watching 3141. Let's see if it's been advanced any um yeah goodness the sunspots are growing but they're not growing kind of like i was hoping they would uh the polarities here are kind of far apart the magnetic structure here looks like it may be um morphing a little bit but not into anything complex as uh, far as what we want when it comes to flaring i uh, still got to watch this one up here a little bit of closeness on the fields um but i still think it does harbor a potential for maybe an m flare but from last night to this morning time frame, it looks a lot more um, weaker in terms of the structure. Um, current solar flare detection here shows uh, not a whole lot. In fact, a decline overnight, and that would be um, definitely relevant there to the uh, magnetic structure kind of uh, morphing into, uh, well, uh, not something as complex as what we want to see for the uh, flaring. A little bitty sea flare within the last hour or so, it looks like. No major flares uh, overnight. Looks like we maybe had another sea flare. That was um, that was yesterday afternoon time frame, or morning, I should say. So not a whole lot of uptick currently with the flaring department. Um, these guys still have their updated data on here. 65% chance for a sea flare, 25% chance for an M flare elevated 10% chance for the X flare department. But uh, man, I don't know. Let me look at this again. Doesn't really, we can watch it. It definitely changes uh, quite a bit. As you see uh, overnight, these kind of uh, morphed into uh, their own little individual sunspots here with not a whole lot of growing uh, next to each other. Uh, but these are the only sunspots that we really have to watch right now. Uh, most of the other activity is decayed and long gone so we will watch this here in the coming days and hopefully uh, something will pop up and we'll get a pretty nice earth directed flare i'll keep my fingers crossed i suppose the current conditions there um looks like uh kp index right around the three level currently a little bit of, of auroras on the dark side of the earth here Let's see, uh, aside from that, folks, uh, live stream is back up and running. Uh, again, it went down about 
about three o'clock in the morning, three thirty-three, in fact, uh, just a little on the odd side. Keeps happening. I mean, when it does happen, it seems like it's right around that time. But uh, we'll continue to move on, continue to bring it back up if it does go back down, and um, just taking notes of all these weird times. Consecutive numbers there, 333. Three, three. I know there's a lot of good meaning behind that number. Um, just I don't see the stream going down as a good thing <laughs> when it does happen, but uh, maybe I'll, I'll be optimistic here and keep a positive uh, thought on that, um, that number. All right, folks. Uh, again, get out and vote. Uh, no politics here on this channel, but uh, the best we can uh, do is agree to get out there and vote and express our um, our uh, voting rights here in this country, in the states. We got 3.3 .3 there south. Uh, looks like that just came in. That's a pretty new earthquake. Let me see here. Not listed over here on the USGS. Let me check out the EMSC here real quick. Just happened to see that. Uh, that's kind of... Uh, there we go. Yeah, a little 3.3 .3 coming in to the... Where'd he go? JavaScript void. So that one's not... one. No, let me zoom in here. Maybe that's what I'm doing wrong. A little 3.3 Botswana area. Uh, we have been seeing a little bit of activity here. Not a whole lot. Um, only a couple other threes here in the South Africa region over the past couple weeks. But either way, 3.3, uh, 3 .3, right? 33, there's that number again. What's going on here? <laughs> All right, folks, I'm going to jump off here. Have a good day. I'm going to enjoy the rest of this rain. And... Uh, I like to sit outside and just enjoy it. It's pretty nice having the rainfall after months and months of 110 degrees or so here in California. And um, I'm hoping this winter will be drastically wetter. And um, that will be a good sign here for a good thing here for the West Coast in California because we definitely need all the rain. We can get all the snow and um, just got to. Keep our fingers crossed that this is a sign of things to come this winter time. So, all right, folks, have a good day. Uh, we'll be back a little bit later on this evening with a complete update. Till then, take care and uh, peace out.